Hi everyone. So welcome to Catflix episode four. So today we will be talking about uh, time, speed, and distances. Okay. So before going to that, let us solve uh, last day's questions, right? So let me share my screen. Okay. So this was. Uh, the homework which we had for last day, basically the ratio of boys to girls in three classes A, B, and C are two is to three, five is to six, eight is to five respectively. The ratio of boys to girls when classes A and B are taken together is seven is to nine, and when B and C are taken together is three is to two. Which of the following could be a total number of students in the three classes? And then you have um, five options. Okay, so let's solve this first. So. Okay, so what are you? Uh, what are the various information that you know? So in class A, in class A, what do you know? Uh, the ratio of boys to girls is two is to three, right? So it's two is to three. Then for B, it is five is to six, right? And for C, it is eight is to five. Okay, what's the next information that you know? You know that the ratio of boys to girls when classes A and B are taken together is 7 is to 9 and B and C is 3 is to 2. Okay, now whenever you know that you have things arranged in a ratio, what can you do? You can arrange them um, as x, y and so on. So boys and girls, so as this is 2x and this is 3x, this is 5y and this is 6y. And this is 8z and this is 5z. Okay, that's what we'll be looking at. Now, if uh, things are combined, then uh, a and b combined, the ratio is 7 is to 9. Right? Now, even before doing any kind of, uh, you know, simultaneous linear equation solving, what you can do is you just have to uh, look at the data. Right? So, in a, you have 2x, b, you have 5y. So just try adding both of this. You will see that 5 plus 2 is 7 and 6 plus 3 is 9, right? So you don't need to do any kind of 2x plus 5y divided by 3x plus 6y is equals to something or something. You just don't need to do that. You can directly say x is equals to y. So if x is equals to y, you can directly say that uh, combined a and b has 2x plus 5x, say, that is 7x divided by 9x, that is 7 is to 9. So this is one relation that you have that is x is equal to five uh, x is equal to y what is the next relationship that you know that b and c combined uh, the ratio is um, two uh, is three is to two okay so basically you can say five uh, y plus eight z divided by six y plus five z is equal to um, three by 2 right so you just need to solve this you just need to solve this if you do a cross multiplication of this 10y plus 16z is equals to 18y plus 15z you'll be getting a correlation between them so you'll get um, uh, z is equals to 8y that is the kind of relationship that you'll get now everything is in y right now that everything is in y what is the total number of students uh, so your question is what will total number of students in the three classes so if you add all of this if you add all of this and convert everything into y so basically you have 2y 3y because x is equal to y 5y 6y 8z would be 64y uh, and uh, 40z 40y okay and if you add all of this you'll be getting 120 so 120y would be your total sum now, just like you have things in 120y, what can you talk about it? What would be the value of y? y has to be a multiple of 120. So which of these options are multiples of 120? Is it 340? No. Is it 360? It can be if y is equal to 3. Is it 480? Again, can be if y is equal to 4. So since both options are here, you can directly mark E. That is B or C. Okay. Uh, now, next, what we have is question number 2. So alloy A contains 40% uh, gold and 60% silver. Alloy B contains 25% gold, 30% silver and 45% copper. 
and A and B are mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So what is the ratio of gold and silver in the newly formed alloy? We do this here itself. So <laughs> first of all, uh, alloy A. So you arrange this as gold, silver and copper. Okay, so alloy A has 40% gold, 40% um, gold and 60% uh, silver. So there are two ways. You can either reduce them into the lowest possible uh, f uh, functions, lowest possible ratio, or you can do this as well. And then you have B, which is 25 gold, 30 silver, 45 copper. 25 gold, 30 silver, and 45 copper. Okay, now what is your question? Um, A and B are mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 3. What is the ratio of gold and silver in the newly formed alloy? Okay. Um, so again, similarly, what you can do is, uh, uh, you can actually check uh, by value that what are the various sums that you can make. So for example, if you add all this, um, if you add this ratio, say this is 2 is to 3, right? So total is 5. Then this is uh, 5 is to 6 is to uh, 9, right? So the total is 20. So what is the current ratio here? The current ratio is 1 is to 4. The reason why I have done this step is because um, a lot of times you know that this ratio is actually the ratio in which things are mixed so you don't need to do that elaborate step of uh, cross multiplication and all right but since you know it's not that so what can you do <clears throat> you need to do that step so uh, for gold you have 2 multiplied by 40 plus um, 3 multiplied by 25 why because um, it's mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 and then for silver, you have 2 multiplied by 60 plus 3 multiplied by 30, right? And then you just have to find the ratio of gold and silver. So you need to do this divided by this. So if you, if you solve this, you will be getting 31 is to 42, right? That is your answer. So this is 31 is to 42, okay? So now that we have solved that, uh, let us go to today's questions. So today's questions are on time, speed and distance. So your first question is, uh, Mr. X decides to travel from Delhi to Gurgaon at a uniform speed and decides to reach Gurgaon after TR. After uh, 30 kilometers, there is some engine malfunction and the speed of the car becomes four fifth of the original speed. So he travels the rest of the distance at a constant speed, that is four fifth of the original speed and reaches Gurgaon. Uh, 45 minutes late. Had the same thing happened after he traveled 48 kilometer, he would have reached only 36 minutes late. What is the distance between Delhi and Gurgaon? Okay, so how do you do this? You have Delhi, you have Gurgaon, right? And say this distance is D, right? First instance, this is 30 kilometer, right? Because it said that till 30 kilometer, he goes to the uniform speed. So since you know it's TR, uh, uniform speed is... Uh, uh, the time taken is TR, so you know this part is covered in uh, D by T, right? Uh, the speed. And then this part, the distance this is D minus 30, right? So basically, can you do some kind of unitary method here? So D kilometer is traveled in TRs. So D minus 30 should be traveled in T multiplied by D minus 30 by D, right? So this is the ideal case scenario. However, uh, the thing is, uh, the person walks at, uh, goes at four-fifth of its usual speed. So, since both are inversely proportional, if it goes as uh, four-fifth of its original speed, it takes five-fourth of the time, right? So, what can you say? Can we form an equation out of here? So, if it's five-fourth of the time, what can we say? That the extra time taken, the extra time taken is one by four, okay? So, five by four is the excess minus one, so that's one by four. And this one by fourth of the extra time, what is the exact time for that? It is um, um, 45 minutes, right? So can we do 45 by 60? In that case, what would happen? So let me write the equations here. So you have one fourth of T D minus 30 divided by D 
is equals to 3 by 4, which is number 1. And then 1 by 4th of uh, t multiplied by d minus 48 divided by d would be something else, right? So what is the equation? Uh, I'm writing 48 because uh, you are already told that had the same thing happened after you traveled 48 kilometers. So in place, in place of 30 kilometers, it is 48 kilometers here, right? So he would have reached only 36 minutes late. So it's 36 by 60. So your, this time your fraction would be 3 by 5. Okay, so you just need to solve this, uh, these two equations. Both of these are simultaneous equations. If you solve this, you will be finding that T is equals to 120 kilometers. That's the first solution. D is 120 kilometers. This is a CAT 2017 question. So, yeah. yeah. And this is almost a, a level of difficulty is easy for this one. Then you have two friends A and B simultaneously start running around a circular track. So this is a circular races problem. They run in the same direction. A travels at uh, 6 meter per second and B runs at B meter per second. If they both cross each other at exactly two points in the circular track and B is a natural number less than 30, how many values can B take? Okay, <laughs> so what do we know? We know that track length, we know that track length is what T? Uh, what is the time taken to meet for the first time? I'm sure this is a concept that you know of. So time taken to meet for the first time is the track length divided by the relative speed. So what is the relative speed? It's T divided by mod of 6 minus B, which means that it can either be 6 minus B or B minus 6. So it's time taken to meet for the first time, right? Uh, now, how much time does it take uh, for the lap of A? It is t by 6 right because the speed is 6 meter per second okay so to complete one complete lap uh, it takes t by 6 then uh, what is the same for b it's t by b so time taken time taken to meet first time is the lcm of t by 6 and t by b right so this is a formula that you should be knowing by now and then um, uh, so now that we, the, when we know that the uh, lcm uh, when we are doing the lcm the numerator is the same what is that equivalent to lcm of uh, the numerator is same as hcf of the denominator so that basically means t divided by hcf of 6 and b so that is your uh, final solution and now there is again a formula that you know that uh, so number of meeting points number of meeting points uh, that happens in a circular race meeting points in a circular race is time taken time taken to meet first time start point and time taken For first meeting. So that value is relative speed divided by uh, this LCM of six comma B. Right? So what is the relative speed? It's either six minus B or B minus six. Sorry, it's HCF. So that is equal to 2 because you know that the number of meeting points is 2. Right? So now you have to solve this equation for uh, B. Right? So that is uh, the purpose of this. And you know that B has to be less than 30. Right? So you just need to think of how many uh, solutions can B have. So now that you know uh, that uh, since the numerator is 2 over here, so you cannot have an odd number for B, right? So for example, if you have B as equal to 1, then 6 minus 1 would be 5. And no matter what you do in the denominator, you can never have a 2. So you have to only think about um, the even numbers, which are there from 2 till 28. 
and even then there are a lot of exclusions so for example if b is equal to 4 uh, you already have two in the numerator and you cannot have uh, an hcf of one right so uh, if, if it's not an odd number so that's why you have to uh, try, try out which are the various values which would work uh, so in this case the three values the only three values that work is 2 10 and 18 right hence uh, the values the different values that we can take is 3 Okay, so that is your solution. So how many values can we take? It is three. Okay, so I hope this uh, lesson was useful. These are the two homeworks that uh, I have for you. Uh, again, it's, it's similar. One is a circular race problem and uh, one is a generic uh, time speed distance problem. And one of them is definitely a cat question. So uh, keep practicing and like and subscribe uh, to PrepZone MBA for more such content. Thank you.